This is a ghost shrimp that I bought at a local pet store for just 89 cents, and this low price makes it the least expensive pet shrimp that you can buy. And not only are they inexpensive, but they're also easy to care for and they're easy to breed. So they're a great shrimp species for beginners who want to try keeping shrimp for the first time, but don't want to spend a lot of money. Ghost shrimp are sometimes referred to as glass shrimp due to their transparent shell, which makes it possible to see most of their internal organs. This part of the shell is known as the cephalothorax. The shrimp's legs are attached to the cephalothorax and it also holds and protects the majority of the shrimp's internal organs. Shrimp have a total of 10 legs. Six of them are used for walking and the other four legs are used primarily for grooming and for feeding. These forelegs have small claws on the end to help the shrimp pick up its food. Now, when I start the film again, pay close attention to this area inside the cephalothorax, because this female shrimp is about to clean the inside of her shell, which I didn't even think was possible until I looked at this footage. And it appears as if she can touch her ovaries as well as her gills and part of her digestive system. In order to maintain their shell in good condition, avoid keeping your ghost shrimp in water that's too acidic because it can eat away at the shrimp's shell. A pH of 7.2 and higher is helpful, and it's also important that the water contains the minerals needed by the shrimp to regrow a new shell every time it molts. Acidic water and a lack of minerals is probably a common cause for premature death and illness in many species of freshwater shrimp. Nonetheless, ghost shrimp are tolerant of a wide range of water parameters, but they do best at a temperature of about 72 to 78 degrees, because higher temperatures tend to shorten their lifespan and promote the growth of bacteria beneath their exoskeleton. Any changes to their water parameters should be done gradually in order to reduce the possibility of shocking the shrimp with a dramatic shift in water temperature or pH. Stability in the water parameters is far more important than trying to dial in an exact number, and this is true for all shrimp as well as fish. Most of the musculature in a shrimp is located in the abdomen, which is this area behind the cephalothorax. Shrimp can use their abdominal muscles to rapidly contract their abdomen and propel themselves backwards at a high rate of speed. This is known as a caridoid escape reaction, and it's used by lobsters, crayfish, and shrimp when they need to make a quick getaway. So when you move a ghost shrimp using a net, be sure to put your hand over the top of the net because they can jump right out with no trouble at all. In the wild, ghost shrimp sit near the bottom of the food chain, and there are lots of fish that love to eat shrimp, so they try to stay hidden by being nearly invisible, and they do a pretty good job of it too. They also stay close to dense vegetation during the day and do most of their moving around and feeding at night, when all of the visually oriented predators are fast asleep. And if their cryptic behavior isn't enough to keep them safe, they'll rely on their speed to make a quick getaway. Their eyes are positioned high above the body, giving them a panoramic view of their surroundings. This allows them to remain perfectly motionless while still looking in every direction for potential danger. They have compound eyes like a fly, and just like the fly, their eyes are very sensitive to movement, which comes in handy when there are so many things out there trying to eat you.
In between the eyes, there's a horn-like projection known as the rostrum. The rostrum has several small teeth on it that are useful for helping biologists distinguish between similar-looking species of shrimp. And unfortunately, there are several different species that are commonly referred to as ghost shrimp. Some are saltwater species, some live in brackish water, while others are entirely freshwater. The species most commonly seen in the pet trade is Palaemonides pallidosus. It's a freshwater species that can also tolerate brackish conditions. However, it does not require salt water in order to breed. So this ghost shrimp can live and breed in fresh water, while the Amano shrimp needs both salt water and fresh water in order to complete its life cycle. This is a female ghost shrimp, and her newly formed eggs are clearly visible inside her ovaries. When these eggs are ready, they'll travel through a special duct that leads from her ovaries to an opening beneath her cephalothorax at the base of her legs. The eggs are then fertilized as they pass through the opening using packets of sperm that the female has stored from the last time she mated with a male. The female then attaches the fertilized eggs to special structures beneath her abdomen known as swimmerettes, and this is where the eggs will remain until they're ready to hatch. Ghost shrimp eggs are green, and they take about two to three weeks to hatch, and once the baby shrimp are born, they'll go through several larval stages before they reach sexual maturity at around two to three months of age. Here, a young shrimp is eating a food pellet that's being held in place by two little appendages known as maxillipeds. The food enters the shrimp's mouth and then travels to an organ known as the gastric mill, which is essentially a stomach lined with teeth that grinds the food into very small pieces. The gastric mill changes color depending on what color food the shrimp has been eating. Ghost shrimp are omnivores, so they'll eat just about anything, including fish food, algae, decaying plant matter, dead fish, and dead shrimp, which makes them a great cleanup crew in the aquarium. And despite some reports to the contrary, ghost shrimp are not aggressive and they will not attack your fish. These reports of aggression in ghost shrimp stem from the fact that there are several other similar-looking clear-bodied shrimp that are sometimes mislabeled as ghost shrimp. The species most often accidentally mislabeled as ghost shrimp are macrobrachium species such as the whisker shrimp and the red claw shrimp, both of which can be very aggressive, have large claws, and will attack live fish as well as other shrimp. While ghost shrimp are shy, have tiny claws, and are not aggressive at all. Yes, they will eat a dead or dying animal, even members of their own species, but they are not capable of attacking and killing a healthy, active fish. In the wild, the ghost shrimp has a diet that consists primarily of algae and detritus. This little ghost shrimp has been eating a lot of algae, so its gastric mill has turned a dark green. However, ghost shrimp will not eat healthy aquarium plants. Once the food has been completely pulverized by the gastric mill, it travels to the hepatopancreas, which is this orange-colored organ right here, and this is where most of the nutrients contained in the shrimp's food are absorbed. The food then travels to the intestine for further processing. And then finally, the undigested remains of the shrimp's food is excreted through the shrimp's anus. And now I'd like to show you how to tell if you have a ghost shrimp rather than one of the more aggressive lookalikes. An authentic ghost shrimp will have these orange bands on the second pair of clawed legs. Also, take note of how small and delicate these claws are because they're certainly not designed for catching and killing fish.
Another sign to look for are these two orange dots on the tail. If your shrimp has these orange markings, then it's a good sign that what you have is an actual ghost shrimp and not one of the aggressive lookalikes that will kill and eat your fish. And that brings us to the end of this presentation on the ghost shrimp. Please help support my effort to continue bringing you these high-quality videos by sending vast sums of money to my PayPal account. And if that's a bit too much to ask, you could always hit the like button, subscribe, or leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a spectacular day.